Have you ever wondered what Earth was like before the dinosaurs? Picture a time about four and a half billion years ago. The universe was a cosmic ballet of dust and debris swirling in the gravity of a young and fiery sun. Our Earth wasn't yet a planet, but a mass of cosmic material gathering together in the great dance of space. Imagine a swirling, chaotic cloud of dust, rocks and gas. Over time, these particles, attracted to each other by the force of gravity, began to collide and stick together. This process, known as accretion, took millions of years. Slowly, this mass began to take shape, forming a sphere under the relentless pull of gravity. As the material compacted, the center of the sphere heated up, eventually becoming hot enough to sustain nuclear reactions. And voila, our Earth was born, a glowing sphere of rock spinning around the young sun. That's how our planet came to be, a cosmic miracle, don't you think? Now imagine a time when Earth was a violent and hostile place. This is the Hadean Eon, the earliest eon in the history of our planet, spanning from around four and a half to four billion years ago. Picture a world under siege. The nascent Earth was constantly bombarded by asteroids and comets, a cosmic onslaught that kept the surface in a molten state. In this fiery crucible, the first landmasses of the Earth were forged. But life as we know it, it was non-existent. The conditions were simply too harsh, too volatile. The atmosphere was a noxious cocktail of gases, unfit for any organism to breathe. This was a time of formation and transformation, a time when our planet was taking its first steps towards becoming the Earth we know today. It was a world of fire and rock, a world in flux. Hard to imagine, isn't it? A world so hostile and devoid of life. As time passed, the Earth began to cool. This cooling period, known as the Archean Eon, spanned from four to two and a half billion years ago. It was a time of significant change, a time when the Earth's fiery anger began to subside, giving way to the formation of the first continents and oceans. Imagine, if you will, the sight of the first land masses breaking through the surface of the water, the first waves lapping against new shores. And within these newly formed oceans, something extraordinary was happening. Simple life forms, the likes of bacteria and archaea, began to emerge. These microscopic organisms were the first spark of life on our planet, setting the stage for the incredible diversity of life we see today. They were the pioneers, the first to brave the hostile conditions of the early Earth. They were the first to call this planet home. From the molten madness, life began to emerge. With the passing of more time, life became more complex. The Proterozoic Eon, stretching from two and a half billion to 541 million years ago, was a time of remarkable evolution. This era bore witness to the emergence of more intricate life forms. Picture this, the world's oceans teeming with multicellular organisms, a sight unseen in previous eons. Algae, these simple green architects of the sea, began to multiply, their numbers swelling in the warm primordial waters. Alongside them, Early animals started to make their debut, each one more complex than the last. But the Proterozoic Eon was not just about the development of life in the water, something extraordinary was happening in the sky above. Cyanobacteria, humble and hard-working, were diligently photosynthesizing, transforming sunlight into energy. In the process, they were releasing oxygen, an element that would come to define life on Earth. Oxygen, life's essential ingredient, began to fill the atmosphere. Next up, an explosion. Not a literal one, but an explosion of life. This remarkable event, known as the Cambrian Explosion, transformed the biological landscape of our planet. This period, spanning from 541 to 485.4 million years ago, marked a significant diversification of life forms. This was the era when many major animal groups made their grand entrance. It's as if life itself had suddenly flicked a switch triggering an outpouring of new complex organisms. The oceans teemed with a variety of creatures, many of which bore hard shells, skeletons, and intricate body structures. This was a far cry from the simple unicellular life forms of earlier eons. Why the sudden surge in biodiversity? Scientists are still piecing together this puzzle. Some propose that changes in the environment, evolution of genes, or even the development of predator-prey relationships could have played a part. What's clear is this. 
During the Cambrian explosion, life was becoming recognizably diverse and complex. Life continued to evolve and diversify. This phrase rings true as we delve into the eras of the Ordovician, Silurian, and Devonian periods, stretching from 485.4 to 358.9 million years ago. This was a time of grand transformation, a time when our planet started to resemble the world we inhabit today in many ways. Let's start with the Ordovician period. The Earth was a marine world, teeming with life, from the smallest microorganisms to the first jawless fish. Coral reefs began to take form, providing a home for a multitude of marine species. But the real game changer was the evolution of the first primitive plants, which began to colonize the land, paving the way for future terrestrial ecosystems. Next, we move to the Silurian period. This era was marked by the further diversification of early vascular plants, which began to spread across the land, forming the first primitive forests. These plants played a pivotal role in creating a breathable atmosphere and fertile soil. Fungi too evolved to play their part in the ecosystem, breaking down dead plant material and recycling nutrients back into the soil. Now, let's journey to the Devonian period, often referred to as the Age of Fish. It was during this time that fish truly began to flourish. Various types, from the armored placoderms to the first sharks, filled the oceans, rivers and lakes. But the fish were not the only ones making strides. On land, plants were growing taller and more complex, and the first trees were taking root. The first land-dwelling arthropods, like spiders and insects, began to appear, closely followed by the first amphibians, marking the beginning of vertebrate life on land. So, you see, these periods were a time of incredible change and diversification. From the first primitive plants to the first terrestrial animals, life was finding new ways to adapt and thrive in different environments. The stage was set for the first terrestrial animals to take their first steps on land. The earth was now teeming with life, both in the oceans and on land. Welcome to the Carboniferous period, an era that spanned from around 359 million to approximately 299 million years ago. This was a time of significant change and growth, a time when the earth was lush, green and full of life. Imagine vast and extensive swamp forests covering large swathes of the earth's surface. Think of towering trees with massive fern-like leaves and dense undergrowth thick with mosses and ferns. These were the iconic landscapes of the Carboniferous period, a testament to the thriving plant life that dominated the era. But why should we care about these ancient forests? Well, these are no ordinary forests. They hold a critical piece to our modern world's puzzle. These swamp forests of the Carboniferous period would eventually become our coal deposits. That's right, the coal that powers our industries and homes today is the fossilized remains of these prehistoric plants. The cycle of life and death in these forests was a slow, ongoing process. As plants died, they fell into the swamps and were covered by water and soil. Over millions of years, the intense heat and pressure transformed these layers of plant matter into peat and eventually into coal. This process, known as coalification, locked away vast amounts of carbon, thus naming this period the Carboniferous or Carbon Bearing. But the Carboniferous period wasn't just about plants. It was also a time of evolution and development for animal life. The first winged insects took to the skies, while the first amniotes, vertebrates that could lay their eggs on land, marked a significant step towards the rise of the reptiles. As we journey through this lush, coal-forming era, we see the Earth transforming, setting the stage for the next chapter of its history. The Carboniferous period, with its extensive swamp forests and burgeoning animal life, was a crucial time in our planet's story. And thus, we conclude our journey through time, long before the first dinosaur roared. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? From the formation of Earth around four and a half billion years ago, we've traveled through eons and periods, witnessing the birth and evolution of our planet. We've seen its fiery beginnings in the Hadean Eon, its cooling and the emergence of simple life forms in the Archean Eon. We ventured into the Proterozoic Eon, where the planet's biological diversity began to bloom, setting the stage for the Cambrian explosion that brought forth a burst of life in all its intricate forms. 
Following this, we explored the Ordovician, Silurian, and Devonian periods, which saw the flourishing of marine life and the pioneering colonization of land by plants and animals. Lastly, we delved into the Carboniferous period, a time of lush, swampy forests that left a lasting impact. So the next time you wonder about dinosaurs, remember, there's a whole world that existed before them.